Every time the ball drops, 2021 starts over again, and I'm the only one who remembers. My name is Julie Winters. I was born on December 13th, 1996. I should be 39 years old, but I'm not. I am 24. I've been 24 for 16 years. I can't grow older. I can't die. I've tried both. I was here before. You were here before. All of us were here, but somehow nobody remembers. It's the same thing every time. December 31st, 2021. We're standing in the middle of Times Square. The countdown. 3, 2, and the calendar turns to January 1st, 2021. Again, in December of 2020, my friends and I had planned to go to Times Square for New Year's Eve just as we always do, but this time we were going with special purpose to give a huge middle finger to the past year as we sail way toward new horizons. Some friends even flew in a few days early for the event. When Prince and the Revolution said they were going to party like it's 1999, I think they had the right predictions just the wrong year. But on December 30th, the police announced that while they were still going to drop the ball, Nobody would be allowed in Times Square on New Year's Eve. To say that we were disappointed was the understatement of a lifetime. What would we do now? Sit home and watch a live stream of the ball drop. After friends flew here from across the country, they could have stayed home and done that. This was not going to go down like that. We were not going to be denied our right of passage out of this year. When Clark Griswold drives across the country to take you to Wally World, you're going to Wally World, whether Officer John Candy opens the gate or not. I knew that many of the elites were being given permission to watch the ball drop from surrounding locations, and police presence was going to be cut by 80% which definitely worked in our favor. The plan was to approach from several blocks away, avoiding 8th Avenue. We would gradually get closer while maintaining an aloof presence, as if we were simply on our way somewhere else, not trying to enter the square with these covert measures. It began to feel like we were trying to avoid detection by occupying forces. It was close to midnight when we made our approach. We couldn't go in early, or we'd risk being pushed out of the area completely by the police before the ball dropped as some random Nameless pop star finished a bland cover of a John Lennon song. The 30-second countdown began. When the countdown hit 15 seconds, we picked up our pace. 10 seconds, we started running. A cop saw us and yelled, Stop. You can't be here. But it was too late. We were already there. Less than a block away from the ball as it was landing in perfect view. 3. To one came through the broadcast in my earbud, as the cop was just yards away from us. Happy New Year. All I remember is that we were in front of one Broadway Avenue when midnight hit, and suddenly, it was 3 a.m. and we were back at my place in Queens. I didn't say anything about my missing memory to the others. And they didn't say anything to me. I wondered if the occupying forces had been keeping people away. For reasons other than a virus. The next New Year's Eve 2021, the same group of us met up. Except for John. He couldn't make it this year. This time the streets were full. Everything was back to normal or... So I thought, the next New Year's Eve 2021, the same group of us met up. Everything was going as you'd expect. The flavors of the month were lip-sensing their current radio hits. Talking heads from radio and TV were all talking into microphones and telling their audience how much fun they were supposed to be having. Crowd chanted along, three, two, one happy and that's 
when I came to consciousness back at my apartment in Queens along with my friends, the same friends including John, who couldn't make it this year, I turned on my TV and flipped through the playbacks of the celebrations. The number 2021 was splashed everywhere, even across the huge plastic glasses that they were all wearing. My phone said it was January 1st, 3 a.m. just three hours prior. It was December 31st, 2021. I woke up the next day thinking of what a strange dream that was. That is, until I started flipping through social media posts. Everybody was wishing everyone a happy 2021. I thought I must still be dreaming, but the dream didn't end. I continued living every day just as I had the year before. I knew when many things were going to happen. Before they happened, some of the things that I didn't remember would hit me after they happened, making me laugh. I tried seeing a psychiatrist. I didn't tell them that I still thought I was repeating the previous year. I presented it as a thing that temporarily plagued me, but I was now aware that it was not real, and I was just trying to figure out how it happened and work with the fallout of it all. When the doc asked me if I still think I'm repeating the previous year, I hesitated before stumbling and saying no. I think he knew I was lying. My birthday came again on December 13th and I turned 25, again, as I had the year prior, before time reset. Again came New Year's Eve in Times Square, and again, at midnight, I awoke at 3 a.m. in my apartment in Queens, celebrating January 1st, 2021 with the same friends, and it happened again and again. I tried changing things over the year, thinking that I did something wrong and needed to fix it in order for time to finally continue moving forward. None of this worked after my eighth time repeating 2021. I decided that I couldn't take it anymore I was going to end it in mid-July of that cycle. I drove across the George Washington Bridge. Halfway across, I pulled over to the side and leapt. My next memory was of waking up in my apartment in Queens at 3 a.m. January 1st, 2021. Time keeps resetting. This year, one thing changed. After the ball dropped and the countdown hit zero, I did not suddenly wake up at 3 a.m. in my apartment this time on the stroke of midnight. We stayed exactly where we were on the street in front of one Broadway Avenue. The sea of revelers from December 31st, 2021 suddenly disappeared. One second prior, we couldn't move. Now, we were standing alone in front of the ball, streets empty. Still New Year's Day 2021.